Well, I think there are a number of reasons why we need to focus on transforming our public services right now. Um, the CBI agenda right now is about growth and promoting growth in the economy. We know we need to get private sector growth going again and we need to make sure that's spread around the UK as much as possible. But a big part of that agenda has to be making the public sector slimmer and fitter so it's fit for purpose today. So that's reason number one. Second, we need to face up to the significant social and demographic challenges that are coming our way. So, for example, over the next 25 years, the number of people aged 80, 85 uh, in the population are going to double. And we're also facing significant fiscal and financial constraints in the coming years that's going to be with us well into the next Parliament. To face up to these challenges, I think that um, the first thing we need to recognise is business as usual just isn't an option. So we need to be thinking about doing things differently. So, for example, we need to be looking at how do we drive much greater productivity and innovation in the way that we deliver public services. We need to be looking to break down silos in government departments. So service provision is focused around individual need, for example, and essentially looking for many ways to do things differently than we have done in the past. Well, the CBI campaign is all about promoting open markets in public services so that providers from the public, the private and the third sectors can um, deliver services in different ways and that will help to drive quality, choice and value for money in our public services. So that's fundamentally what we're all about. And thinking about the year ahead, we've got a number of different um, campaigns and projects on the go to help promote that work looking at the state of the market, so how open are different markets in public services, looking at where we can get some quick wins to promote better quality services and some savings, and also looking at where we can identify some tipping points where there are examples of good practice going on around government and around local authorities in the UK, but where so much more can be done.